Hello, my dear. Welcome to Bariloche. It's a beautiful region of Patagonia, Argentina, which has some of the most breathtaking landscapes I have ever seen. It's our first day in the town and we're stopped by this young man on the left who asked us to watch his band perform. I'm so inspired by his hustle, so we're staying to listen, and I actually really enjoy their music. They're called Luna and Scorpio. Keep an eye out for them. They're really good guys. Oh. Wow. We're here in Patagonia for eight days, and it's my first time in Latin America. I'm blown away by the beauty of Argentina and how easy it is to travel here. People are so friendly and the food is phenomenal. When you get to the Patagonia region, you'll find many more restaurants focused on local and higher quality <laughs> ingredients. Taking some shelter, waiting out the rain, listening to some house music. This is some house. <laughs> The nature in this area is out of this world. There are so many plants I don't recognize from living in the Northern Hemisphere, and I feel like I'm walking through a Dr. Seuss book, if you know what I mean. Of course, I'm always looking out for a yummy fruit to forage. Ellen, on a continual quest <laughs> to find fruit. To find apples. They look kind of like apples. They are. Take a bite. I'll take you to the hospital if it's poison. Oh, you got a whole branch. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Is it really? Yeah, it's really sweet. I'm excited. Mm. Here, give me a bite. Mm. Give me a bite. Oh, there's a worm inside. <laughs> In the seed. No, it's just, In it's the just core. seeds. It was over there. It's just seeds. I'm gonna spit out this part. I mean, they're gonna have worms because they're yummy food. <laughs> if you've been following me for a while, then you know Dan and I love hiking, and we're here on this easy to moderate trail called Cerro Jiao Jiao, which is about 40 minutes to get to an epic view of the surrounding mountains and lakes. I am blown away by how beautiful this region is. We already know we're coming back soon and bringing our family to experience this amazing place. Oh, it's really beautiful. I, I like hiking these and working for the view. Yeah. Makes it so rewarding. <laughs> hey, buddy. It's like two in the afternoon and I'm starving. The restaurant we wanted to go to is too full to accommodate us, so we're going across the street to this food truck park. I rarely order something as rich as a steak sandwich and I just don't eat much red meat typically, but today I can't resist and it's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. In February, it's the height of summer here, which is like August in the Northern Hemisphere, and the flowers are blooming everywhere. The roses especially are insanely beautiful. You know I love flowers, so I am super happy to be here while everything is blooming. Cool treehouse, huh? It's a really pretty treehouse. Today is our 10 year anniversary, so we're out for a romantic dinner date. We honestly almost forgot about it, so we booked this place the night before. Hey baby. Hi. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. We're in Patagonia to us in 10 years. Yeah. So that's where we were right Happy. now. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. I love you. Like that. that fresh farm to table salad. Spanish risotto and some bread. Oh. Some trout. This like crispy fried kale. Yeah, I don't know. It's so happy. 
yummy. I love the flowers. <laughs> that looks like a nice berry. I'm picking up lunch at this amazing food truck, La Cabrona, and I discover the food park is lined with blackberry bushes. I'm always foraging, guys. It makes me so happy to be eating food that is this fresh. The house we're staying at also has an amazing vegetable garden, so I'm making a fresh kale and mint salad for an afternoon snack. Oh my God. There's mint in here. That's good. No, fresh mint from the garden. Fresh everything from the garden. Good job. Thank you. It's delicious. This is the view from the house, guys. It's just breathtaking. We're driving to El Boson, which is a town 90 minutes south of Bariloche and has this big artisan market on Saturdays. First, we're having this delicious lunch of handmade pasta and it tastes like it's made with so much love, guys. The market has some really well-made crafts and we spend quite a while exploring it. I want to share a message with you guys. I believe that when you travel to a different country, if you're going to buy something, it's important to find the smaller local artisans because not only are the products generally well-made and much higher quality, but you can support small local businesses and families, which is healthier for the overall economy. It's just something to keep in mind. Back at the house, I hear a faint meowing at the front door, and when I open it, this sweet little kitten runs inside. I am in heaven, guys, and I probably would play with her for the entire afternoon. I just wish I wasn't allergic to cats. <laughs> this is the view from my Airbnb. We have a nice deck, a fully stocked, beautiful kitchen. Walking through the gym, we have an amazing greenhouse inside a garden. Hey, baby. Hi. What's she up to? I'm reading. It's a pretty good spot to read. We've got a lot of trees inside the house as well. There's a bunch of citrus. There's a little lemon growing over there as well. A lemon? Let's see if I can find it. Oh, there's a whole bunch. Yeah. I think they might be limes. I'm enjoying a quiet moment to myself in the hot tub. Dan has a head cold and a sore throat, so we're taking it easy today. This is my fourth time eating Patagonia trout this week. It's such a flavorful, lean fish. I order it every time I see it on a menu. Interestingly, there's actually a huge tea culture in Patagonia, and I'm not sure why that is. Maybe it's the European influence. Again, amazing food in this part of the country. A lot of it caters to the European colonies who have settled here. So I've been finding really healthy and good vegetarian options everywhere I go. We are on the Seven Lakes Drive, which as you guessed, passes by seven beautiful lakes. If we budgeted more time, we would have spent the day hiking the National Park Trail in Via Angostura, which is 12 kilometers each way. But this stop was so worth it because as you can see, the beaches on either side of the peninsula are stunning. It's three and a half hours to San Martin, but it takes us half a day with all the stops we take. Literally every few miles you go is another viewpoint. It's easily the most beautiful drive we've ever done. I like this view. Yeah, this is 
such a pretty view from this bridge. We are at a viewpoint at Lago Corentoso and it's one of a hundred like viewpoints that we've been driving past and honestly all of them are so beautiful. If it was warmer out, we would be like hanging out at the beach and just yeah, spending a couple of hours at each of these spots. Yeah, today we're just gonna do a drive and see this beautiful region of Patagonia. Oh my gosh, uh, this is ridiculous. We're finally approaching San Martin and it's one of the most beautiful beaches I've ever seen. It's so charming. The pictures just don't capture it. So I'm going to focus on enjoying the present moment. We're having a quick lunch so that we can continue on to explore the town. The sandwiches here are really good guys. <laughs> chocolate store as well called Rich Patagonia and it's this cute little vegan and sugar-free option if you want it. Chocolate and tea shop and I'm just having this most delicious hot chocolate and herbal tea while Dan is taking a nap in the car because we had quite a long drive here which is about three hours from Bariloche with a stop in Via Angostura and finally here in San Martin. And yeah, it's just such a beautiful little town and just hanging out here and taking a little break. And it's an interesting um, story too on the menu that talks about this little mouse in the area. I think it's called Mountain Mouse and its relationship with a flower that grows here on the mountains and also blooms in the winter. So the flower blooms in the winter and the nectar of the flower helps the tree survive. In the winter when it's cold and snowing here, the mouse also has something to eat and basically there's a very symbiotic relationship between these two species and their growing awareness of these two species as a way to show that it's important to protect the natural world and I would love to learn more about how they're doing it but I wonder if it has to do with the way they source their ingredients or offering healthier options for humans like the vegan options and the without sugar it's both healthier and more sustainable for the planet cute little story that they have here on the back of the menu card well, that's good <laughs> wow <laughs> It's time to start the journey back to Bariloche. I'm loving this drive so much, especially when we have to stop because the sheep are crossing the road literally in front of us. So we just saw this amazing viewpoint. It has a little waterfall and this valley across from the street that has a gorgeous sunset view. Yes. Awesome. G day, right? I know. It's so pretty. <laughs> it's so beautiful out here, guys. Literally, I'm getting emotional just thinking about how beautiful this place is and how fortunate we are to get to experience this in our lifetimes. It's so important to come out and spend time in nature because it can make you feel small which is wonderful for helping you realize how much we have to enjoy in this lifetime and to always be grateful for that. <laughs> Good. 
Wow, the sunset's even more beautiful than it was before. So we are at Leslie Brewery right now and it's a beautiful property. It's got a working farm and a brewing operation here. And what I love about this place is that they use very sustainable and eco-friendly farming and um, brewing practices. They feed their spent grains to their animals here, including like chickens, uh, horses. They're just very conscious about how they use water and minimizing waste in their production. So I'm really excited to try out some of their food and uh, drinks and support this business. Hi. Oh, I know. She's like, I don't like that. I don't, it doesn't feel so good. <laughs> Beautiful oak barrels. He likes you talking to him, I think. Oh, yeah.